Today we're driving on California State Route 74, also known as the Ortega Highway. It's a little bit of a winding mountain road, so we'll see how autopilot does. Speed limit is about 45 miles per hour, or so the map says. That's about 70 kilometers an hour. That may be a little fast, so we can go a little slower. Since a lot of these turns are posted at uh, 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers an hour, or sometimes slower. Uh, people drive pretty fast here, so uh, we may have to slow down and disengage and, and let, uh, let them overtake. Uh, like, let's let this guy go by. Once it picks up the lane lines, we can re-engage. Blue uh, steering wheel lets us know that autopilot is engaged, keeping the hands on the wheel. And uh, a slight torque on the steering wheel lets autopilot know that you're there. Otherwise, it'll give a warning if it does not detect the driver's hands. So far, so good. Coming down into the valley, elevation 2,600 square feet or 800 meet, uh, 100 feet, 2,600 feet or 800 meters. This looks like a little bar or restaurant up here. Probably a nice view. And here we have a tight left turn posted at 30 miles per hour or uh, 50 kilometers an hour. Slowing down into this turn does uh, just fine there some windy uh, left rights here you'll notice the uh, the lane lines here shown in the display uh, will shorten and lengthen based on how far ahead the cameras can see. And getting a little close to the right edge there, a little close to that middle lane line, slowing down here to 35 miles per hour, about 55 kilometers an hour. Long sweeping right turn, uh, which is usually not a problem. There's a lot of uh, discoloration of the road, uh, definitely not the best quality uh, or well maintained road. And sometimes these discolorations can cause problems and confusion for camera based lane keeping systems, especially when they appear like a continuous line. But so far, um, Autopilot is uh, not having problems with that. See the ultrasonic sensors detecting uh, the wall to the right. Large left turn. No problem. And slowing down as we come into this uh, right turn. Tends to have problems with these getting a little close to the center there uh, when there's a left right turn. have to uh, take over. We'll see. Uh, we have a car coming up here so I will disengage and let him pass. And let's carry on. When the steering wheel appears, we can engage autopilot. And there we go. A uh, big left turn here, slowing down before the turn. And doing okay. 
nice view of uh, Lake Elsinore down below, uh, which is, I believe, the largest, if not one of the largest, freshwater lakes in Southern California. Not saying that much, though, because California basically is a desert and doesn't have many lakes. But uh, there is a supercharger, a Tesla supercharger in Lake Elsinore, uh, next to all the uh, outlet shopping. Right turn, can't see very far ahead. Uh, navigating that pretty well. Looks like we have a big uh, hairpin turn to the left coming up. We'll see how it does. Okay, slowing down. Not bad. Nice view of the lake. Not bad at all. Coming out of the turn, a little acceleration there, but then it decelerates again for this quick right. Very good. And not bad at all. Slowing down for this turn, you'll notice quite a bit of regenerative braking. Um, that's kind of the nice thing about having an electric car is you don't have to use your brakes. You'll notice the green bar there indicates we're using regenerative braking as we uh, are coming down. Almost made it. I think we're almost down into the, the valley. Speed up here a little bit, back to the speed limit. There we go. Uh, we've made it. Now there's a uh, intersection and stoplight ahead. Uh, autopilot doesn't yet recognize stoplights, uh, but it will come to a stop because of these uh, detecting these uh, cars ahead. And there we go, decelerating. And coming to a stop. Well, that about does it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see uh, the next videos coming out. Uh, definitely enjoyed having you along. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Have a really great day, and uh, see you next time.